It's a hot afternoon in August and we're going out fishing. Today we're going to go fluke fishing. I don't know if you saw in the last video, but one of our uh, supporters, uh, Steve Donnelly, who makes these fluke rigs, uh, gave us a few of these to try. And while we were sea bassing, we caught a couple of small fluke. And it's been years since we've had a good fluke day, so we're going to go out and look for some big fluke. Uh, it's me, Ethan, Barry, and Alex. Uh, we're going to go out and drift for fluke for the afternoon, kind of a laid back day. And I'm going to take you guys along and see how we do. And if we catch a legal fluke, which is 17 inches, which almost seems mythical. Um, we used to have tons of fluke, but the draggers took them all. But maybe we'll find some. For those of you that aren't familiar with fluke, fluke or summer flounder is you know a flat fish like a halibut or a, or a flounder anyway that's what we're after uh, they are delicious fish but if we catch a legal fish we are going to do a catch and cook have fluke for dinner all right so we're headed out to catch some fluke right now i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you enjoy fishing check out our other videos uh, we got a bunch of uh, footage in the can from some of our other adventures and uh, they should all be posted soon so come along and enjoy How my how big he is? Almost 21. It is 21 if you put the tip of the tail, right? Yeah, close. Perfect. Good job, Barry. Right. High five. I'm out. That was enough. <laughs> I'm so tired, but it's a keeper, Ooh. so now we can enjoy it. Take that, lens, well. All right, moving on. So we need one more keeper. One? We need like a dozen of these fish. I think we're allowed three a piece and now we have one. Five. Five a piece and how many? But Alex is just counting one for his dinner. He's like, I'm done. <laughs> All right. Go, Alex. So this is a Steve Donnelly rig. Oh yeah, there's one. Yeah, I got that. Not super small like we were catching today, but he's not big enough. So. Not keeper, but a good fish. Ethan's Maybe? 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 No. He could be. I doubt it. There's another one. So yeah, he went against this worm. He liked that worm, yeah. Yeah. Back when they what? Four hundred times. It, yeah, because we we've come to the conclusion for you people watching that the people who do Berkeley gulp with their this hooks four hundred times better and fish hold on thirty six million times more. These are the same scientists that do Berkeley Gulp that uh, do all the COVID data. <laughs> That'll probably get us banned. Oh, grab him. So we got, I just got another fluke, which we think is a keeper. It's thick, which would be nice. Then there's actually a filet on it. 19. Oh, yeah. Yay. Second keeper. Good job, Ethan. To slime up the drinks. Yep. I think the tail of the boat getting just more luck. I got two rods and I still can't catch one. <laughs> I'm like double timing. Keep oh, on. Bass. Look at that. Ooh. More specious today. Really? Yeah. Like, Alright. No, Barry's fighter. on. The fighter, that's what he is. We need the net. Ethan, your net. Is it good one or not? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Barry with the that's a good one. Barry's awesome. Barry. The bear. That's my for you. Bear. That's for you, Lance. Well, not my pants. The fish. <laughs> Another <laughs> keeper. Yeah, just barely. Jelly. Just the keeper. Go ahead. All right. Here's the rig we're using today. It starts off with a three-way swivel. Right there. See it? Tied to your main line. Then there's a dropper line here. We got a. I'm using a uh, three ounce bank sinker. This is one I found metal detecting. See all the oxidation. Some of those thousands of uh, metal detected weights. We reuse them. Then there's this long piece of fluoro. Goes to this little spinner with some beads. Then a rubber squid. And then I have a little strip of dogfish belly on the bottom as an attractor. A little teaser. You can use like a rubber bait, but I'm trying the old dogfish 
and that's that. I still haven't caught one though, so don't really listen to no, me. No, you, you caught some, but you didn't catch the keeper. No, I've not caught a keeper. All right. All right, let's get a keeper in the boat, man. We just talked oh, about that. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's in this my little boot. fish in right there. Oh. Everywhere. Little fish he just oh. did himself. All right, I got a But um, we spoke probably like two minutes with, uh, ago with Matt about he has to get a uh, keeper. And um, I mean, we're going to measure and check him, but I believe this is the keeper. It's pretty close. I mean, if. He's gonna be six, sixteen, and three quarters. <laughs> I'm gonna step on him till he's seventeen. Can I get by you, please? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Tail. Oh, oh yeah. He's over at seven, eighteen. Hold on. Put it back. I think, so. I think its mouth closed. I don't care. <laughs> Still over. Mm, over seventeen inch. Woo! Flatfish for Matt as he holds it over the side like a jerk. Oh. All right. Going in the cooler. So that's a beautiful fluke. That was a Steve Donnelly rig. On a Steve Donnelly rig. And good old dogfish. And dogfish bait. All right, show me your cooler. Oh, ho, ho, take it easy. This is the first bait. <laughs> Two. Look number three. Oop, little extra dogfish belly. Ooh. Very slimy Gatorade. Who's eating that? Not me. Number four. And number five, the biggest one, the oh, first one. The biggest one in the bucket, as always, belongs at, to Barry. Look at his teeth. So we're heading in. We've been fluke fishing now for about, I don't know, four hours, having a good time. We caught, uh, Barry has how many? Three. Barry has three. Ethan has two. Two. I have one, and Alex has one. So that's uh, seven. Right? Maybe. <laughs> Seven? I don't do the math. I'm not in school right now, so if I don't have to do math, I'm not going to do it. So our final review of the Steve Donnelly fluke rig. It's pretty good. It catches fish. We can't complain. Uh, we got to say thanks to Steve Donnelly and actually his partner, Bob, work partner. Well, Snow, we'll see you on the cutting table. We cut up these fluke. Maybe we'll display them. I don't know. We just got to get back in. The sun's setting and my running lights are broken. All right. By broken, I mean I haven't had running lights since 2002. <laughs>
that you guys gig? Do they have a mouth like this, like a a bit a mouth like that, or like a little sucker mouth, like the um like a, a winter flounder? I do not know. Ethan is trying his best as well. Here, get. All right. All right. So to make apparently there's four fillets here. I, well, there's some guys I know can go whoosh and take the whole one side off in one fell swoop, 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 one fell swoop, swoop. swoop. Put in the comments. <laughs> but I'm not good at it. I always do it. I split it down the center, and then I just work back from the backbone this way, and then I know just kind of try and get that tip under there. I am not like I said. I don't know why we're videoing this because this is not a how-to. This is a how-not to. Well, pub any publicity is a good publicity. It's good publicity, yeah, yes. So this also is the they're flat yeah. and they're slimy. They're just a pain. They are delicious though. It's so it's worth it. It's worth it, and it's not like a sea bass, which is also a huge pain. But the sea bass has got a million spines. So then so this part here, I just lop off like that, throw that away, and then you just skin it like you would a regular fish. Oops. I think we're just gonna show uh, the other side because it looks different, like different color. Yeah, the meat is a little, is slightly different on the white, on the stomach side. This is see how it's kind of a dark. It's almost a blue green. You'll see when like Ethan's here. Oh, he almost got me. Well, you were. See you, how white <sighs> that is. Yeah. And that's gonna be the end of this filleting part because, quite frankly, I'm so bad at this, it's embarrassing. So while we finish filleting these, uh, take some time and give us a thumbs up or. Go in the comments and say how bad I am at this. I don't mind. It'll be fun to read. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah. if someone want to put a dislike, uh, it's fine, too. Just tell us why. Or, or <laughs> get in your car, drive up here, and fillet these for me. <laughs> All right. See you in the kitchen. Bake. All right. Whenever you're ready. So we've got the fluke in here, we're cleaning it up, but we got a nice bag that we're gonna send to our good friend Steve Donnelly as a thank you for those awesome fluke rigs. So this is for Steve Donnelly. All right, we're not gonna tell them a date. What? So he, the, he doesn't know when it's, it's gonna get. He might, he might get that or that might go to Alex's fridge. <laughs> <laughs> and it might be the next trip that he gets the fluke from. <laughs> hey, we wanna uh, get more free stuff, so we gotta give him some fish. All right. We're done filleting fish and we're back in the kitchen. Uh, you guys missed out at the very end while we were filleting. It began to rain on us, so we got wet. But anyway, we're gonna make a little dinner now. So we got all our fluke fillets all laid out on this tray. And then we're gonna do very similar to what we did the other day. We're gonna use some cracker crumbs. I should have pre-crushed these so it wouldn't have been so long. That's pretty hot. That's how strong I am. I can crush crackers with my bare hands. I'm like the Superman of the kitchen. So we got our cracker crumbs, which seems like a lot. Maybe, yeah, I'm okay. And the last time you saw in the straight bass video, I think that we did the same thing, but luckily a friend of mine just stopped by and brought me a lobster. So we took, I just picked the lobster in the meantime. I'm gonna add this lobster meat to the cracker crumbs. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, we're doing this first class. Stuffing, right? Yeah, I like a stuffing. Then I'm gonna add some butter. Like I said, these are delicious recipes, not heart healthy, healthy recipes. We're gonna add some lemon juice. Then we're gonna get Ethan in here, some fresh ground pepper. <laughs> Here he is. I'm going back downstairs. <laughs> All right, more pepper. We need more fr fresh ground pepper, Ethan. I just went downstairs. And mix that all together and get it. I get any closer. You, can you get any closer to me? All right, so Alex can edit this as he needs to, but there's our Kind of a stuffing. Let me see how it is right now. 
but actually needs a little more lemon juice. Hmm. Unfortunately, I just squeezed my last fresh lemon, so I'm gonna go against the cardinal rule and use some bottled lemon juice. And I can just hear you in the comments right now, like, how can you do that? It's because I don't have any more lemons. There we go. So I got this cracker crumbs and lobster stuffing, and now I'm gonna just, I'm using my hands. I washed them. Plus remember, everything we cook goes in a 350 degree stove, so. So no olive oil, nothing, huh? Just. No. Olive oil is not. Put this on here. Like you said in the previous video, sprinkles. Sp sprinkle it on, yeah, exactly, sprinkle it on. If we had, like I said, I am not a good fluke filleter. Is that a word, filleter, the act of filleting? Um, if I was a better filleter, we would have had bigger fillets and we could have done this like a roll up, you know, like rolled the, the you know, stuffed the actual fillets, but I didn't have that, so. You could take the tin foil and wrap it Just up roll it up like a big ball. burrito and eat it. So there, I'm gonna put that on. And I don't want, I don't really want my lobster to dry out while the fish is cooking. So I'm gonna throw a piece of tin foil, hang on one sec. I'm gonna throw a little more pepper on here. So now I've got it all kind of covered with this crumble stuffing. It's lobster, you saw the secret ingredients. And then I'm gonna take a little piece of foil, I don't know if I said this earlier or how Alex, I'm gonna put that over so the lobster doesn't dry out while it's cooking. So I'm just, I'm not gonna pinch it, I'm just gonna kind of lay it on top like that, very lightly. Hmm, so okay. Kind of so the heat can still get under, yeah, but so it'll still keep heat, it. But then it'll steam a little and it won't, um, and then we'll get, and when we're done, we're gonna throw it under the broiler like we la did last time to kind of golden brown it. But if we leave the top off, then the lobster will dry out. So I'm did gonna- Did you make enough for guinea fowl? She's <laughs> waiting at the <laughs> Right there. All right. So I'm gonna throw this in the oven at like 350. As usual, like I'll say 10, 12 minutes, 18 minutes. I, I don't really know. I just kind of go as I go. So that's in there. In the meantime, we're gonna clean up the kitchen. It's a mess because we were just cutting fish and whatnot. It's and time then to put like. Oh, and while we're doing this, put up a like if you want. Uh, put in the comments. Uh, make fun of me for my terrible filleting. Uh, do whatever you want to do. And we'll see you when this delicious fish comes out of the oven. No. All right. So it's been about, I don't know, 18 minutes, 15 minutes. Roughly. Roughly. So as you can see, the fish is pretty much done. It's looking good. But like before, I'm going to throw it under the broiler. Broiler? Broiler, that's the word. And like I said in the last video, whenever you're doing this, if you're broiling it, you gotta stay there and watch it. Cause if you burn it, even though it like, doesn't change the flavor that much, it just ruins the presentation and all your hard work goes in down the drain. Um, so while we're letting this broil, it's looking good. You can see I've changed my clothes. We've had a little bit of a wardrobe change. I got a question for you guys. Do you find in summer that like, you're just trying to squeeze so much fun into everything. You're just going all the time. And like, like you can see around the house, it's a mess. Everything's just, you're just like, should I clean the house or go fishing? Should I clean the house or go crabbing? Should I do this? So like, um, or should I go to work? You forgot them. Yeah, or work. <laughs> there is work in the middle of that too. But uh, I just think it's this time of year, you, you look outside, it's still light. And what is it? Eight o'clock and we still haven't eaten dinner. But um, but we having this sweet. We're having a great, great meal. So who cares? This is sweet mojitos waiting for us for the dinner. And it's a homemade, right? Homemade mis 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 mosquito. Mis <laughs> Mo Homemade mojitos. Alex has now become the mojito master. Apparently I'm a mojito, better mojito master than the fisherman. Yes, he is. Yeah, <laughs> will you see, we did this bluefish video yesterday. Oh, oh, he wants it, Alex. Hey, you got it. So I the best part about all this is that both, um, Alex does not know how to fish really. He's just learning and uh, so he fishes like a psycho. And Ethan is a, you know, a kid, so he fishes like a psycho. <laughs> so the two of them are hilarious. 
and Alex was just so excited because he loves eating bluefish, just ripping the plug out, snagging everybody on the boat. But he caught a bunch of fish. He's getting better. He's going from cameraman to sportsman, but the transition has taken a while. All right. All right, still broiling. Like I said, you got to watch it. It's like watching paint dry. But if you turn away, if you're like, oh, I'll just let it go for three minutes, and you go in the other room, you get distracted, you come back, everything you've done is burnt, and then you'll be kicking yourself. So. Okay, let's cut it for now. What? Let's cut the video for now. No, just keep talking. <laughs> this is just this awesome view time. Go ahead, cut. <laughs> oh, there it is. Just right. Golden brown. No so burn. It's been probably like three and a half minutes. Like, yeah. Close to four minutes. It's been about a half inch of mojito. That's how much time it took for this perfect cook. It's true. I had a little bit and then virgin mojito. Virgin. No, no. alcohol. No alcohol for me. All right. all right, we're all served up. Ethan's going to say prayers and then we're going to try this delicious fluke. Dear God, to over all my friends and family, keep us safe. Bless this food to our body. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All right. Should we do it in first? Yeah, everyone we'll test it? Yeah, well. Oh, Kristen goes for the salad <laughs> first. Taste the fluke. <laughs> I'm eating salad. <laughs> Mmm. <laughs> it's, it's like Ethan always does. Mm. Alright, I'm, I'm enough of this. I'm just gonna try. It's good. It's I'm good. I'm just gonna try. Yeah, it's very good. Well, that's very good. fancy mm. with your lobster stuffing. It's my first time trying fluke ever in my life. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever had it either. With a lobster um, stuffing. Mm. Oh, and lemon. And fresh, we got new lemon after that. <laughs> Thank you, Kristen. Thank you, Kristen. I just put so much lemon on this. All right, so you want to do the final wrap-up? No, up? you wrap it. All right, thank you very much, guys, for being part of this video. Hit another like button right now, and we're going to see you very shortly because we're on the roll of five videos in two weeks. That's so, the plan. <laughs> thank you so much. See you next time. Then it goes...